Hey YouTube, Aiden slash Just Aiden. Um, here with a silly shirt. Um, I'm going to talk a little more about my practice. So I had my peanut butter long tones video. This is really actually pretty similar to that. Just takes some of the com the complexity out of it. Complexity, complexity, complexity. Plex is the uh, accent in that word, not com. Complex, complexity. There we go. Sorry, tangent. Um, this is just kind of doing Remingtons with glisses and coming back up. It's really simple, but it's actually pretty difficult um, if you're like me and you like to manipulate stuff with your face. Um, and it really forces you to keep the air moving and to keep the sound the same the whole time. This is an exercise I would do with earplugs out because I really want to hear everything in my sound. Not so much the sensation. The sensation is also important. I really want to see not see, but hear if I'm doing things correctly. So you can choose any partial, um, any valve or valve combination. Um, I'm just going to do it. I'll start on low B flat for right now. Um, and you'll see what it is really quickly. That's it. That's the whole thing. Literally just Remington with no articulation for the changing of notes. Doing a nice slow gliss. The slow gliss, and I've talked a ton about glisses in the past, the slow gliss is to make sure that you're letting the trombone do the work for you, right? It's real easy. <laughs> to do weird things with the face rather than let the slide do everything for you. It's actually conscious right now, it shouldn't be, but it's a conscious conscious effort for me to not manipulate anything here and just go. Just blow the whole time. That's literally it. Um, and I'll do this on every partial, like. Uh, twinge as I went down to C sharp. Didn't like how that A flat sounded in seventh. Obviously, it's not going to sound super great, but I want everything all the way on the slide to kind of sound the same as it does in first position. So, there's the gist of it. You can also flip it around. I like to do this starting in sixth. I don't like to start in seventh. I probably should, um, but a lot of these notes, except for maybe low E. I'm honestly in bass, I just don't play seventh position that much. And I do play sixth, you know, semi often, a lot more than I play seventh. So, to work on that, I'll choose a partial, but I'll start at the bottom instead. <laughs> I didn't like how I started that C, kind of went blah. Um, one thing that I have to work on a lot 
is making sure that my air is instant and that it follows up the articulation, not that's a little better. Um, so there you guys go. It's really simple, but a lot more difficult than you think. Um, there's different problems at different ranges. Up high, um, I really like to tense up. I like to use less air. Obviously, that's not what you should do. You know, kind of ease the horn off the face. Let the, the air do all the work for you, and things will get a lot easier. like to make those feel as easy as they possibly can be like I'm just letting the air out um, on bass actually I don't think it's very hard because it takes quite a bit of air to play up there um, on tenor that can get to me sometimes because it takes you know more air than some other ranges but the horn is just smaller so I can't just like release like a drum bass um, in a low range um, the problem I run to is manipulation really hard um, so for instance on low D Like even then, I started the note a little low and then went too high and just doing weird stuff with the face. No, just put the valves down. especially when you get into the pedals, but even on this partial, um, well, this valve combination is still second partial. Um, if you run out of air coming back up, and I'm not fully energizing all the way up because I'm running out, what you can do is, uh, you guys hear how that's C sharp. Um, I played down to it, probably sounded okay, and then when I attacked it again, it went, whoa, whoa, changed a bunch because I did weird stuff. But basically, go down, take a breath, then come back up. Then oh. don't tense up because you're holding the horn up or whatever. Don't let your get a grip get in the way and have the valve not all the way down. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. I'm not attacking the B very well, and when I come back up, I feel like the D is in a different place than when I started. So, you guys can see the problems. Um, in the pedal range on this especially, I feel really uncertain. I really don't like playing this, but it makes me a lot better. Um, and if you're playing this correctly, if you're using air, just letting it flow, right? Never holding back. There's never a reason to like, not let the air out. Um, and getting the horn off the face, not using the left bicep, but using uh, the air and using the chop muscles against the mouthpiece rather than bicep against the face then these will be really good for you. If you find yourself getting really tense, stop for a second and remember air does everything for you and if you're getting tense, the air can't do the things for you. See you guys next time.